You know, there was a time when I seriously considered using this card as an April Fool's joke, considering how often I've teased it. But believe it or not, this is no joke. This card is finished, this game is done, and I am finally ready to put it to rest and bring it to your eyes. Hey guys, this is Bill once again with the Nintendo Super Power Club Challenge channel. Today we are finally looking at Adventures of Lolo 3 on the NES, and this is card number 12 in the collection. So Lolo 3, if you never played Adventures of Lolo 1, 2, or 3, is a series of puzzle games where you walk around as a blue or red blob on, I think it's either an 8x8 or a 10x10 board, I don't remember exactly. Just collect in a whole bunch of hearts, get the bonus gem, exit the level. Sounds simple in practice, but in actual play, at a high level, it is not. Some of these levels require extreme thinking to get through, and a lot of practice for sure. All right. I'm done talking and messing around. Let's get into this challenge here. Let's see what we're doing. Oh boy. Is this a pro challenge or is this a pro challenge? Here's the description. Use the password, final level, blah, 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 blah. See if you can make it to the end while only losing on pro zero lives. Yes, you read that correctly. Now, first of all, just a little heads up here. Most low, low levels contain only five levels per world, right? In this final world, there are 10 levels. Okay, sounds easy enough, but again, it's the final world in the final game of the NES series, and they've saved the worst for last. Oh, by the way, there's a boss at the very end. Don't let your guard down after beating the final 10 levels here. I cannot tell you how many times I had to restart and restart and restart because I would get to a point I, I just want to put it out of my head right now. This was probably on par with Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2. Well over 100 attempts. I will get more into it as the challenge goes on, but I am done talking right now. I cannot emphasize enough how difficult this is. You need to study the levels inside and out and know them down to the half square in some instances if you want to get this done. All right, enough talk. Here we go. Lolo 3 NES. Sit back and relax if you can and have fun. Okay, here we go. We're in full machine mode right now. So oftentimes when I do gameplay commentary recordings like this, I like to slow things down sometimes or just take it slower so I can really explain why I'm doing something. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it in this case. I had to go full speed all the way all the time because if I didn't, my rhythm and timing would have been messed up. So that's why I'm moving a little faster than I would like to do here. But anyway, I will talk about things as I can and point out the most important parts of the levels. With this first part, you just have to isolate Dawn Medusa in the bottom left. Then you can focus on getting these hearts one at a time. The important thing is to make sure that you use the eggs as necessary and then blow them away. They're going to respawn in the exact same spot and then you can go ahead and push it back up top. Be very careful here, don't accidentally half push it. You can do half screen pushes or half square pushes I should say. And there you go, that's the first room out of the way. Yeah, half squares are ridiculous and they come into play eventually here. All right, push this skull all the way up, block Don Medusa in. Now this part, blow the skull away. Go up here, take the snakey, push him down over on top of where he was standing. Then go up, push the snakey up to block Medusa. Don't grab the heart just yet. Push this snakey down, block Don Medusa from the top. Then go down here, push that snakey down. <sighs> Catch my breath. Now go over and around. Don't get shot by Don Medusa. Before you collect that last heart, shoot this skull here. Prevent him from letting Don Medusa loose. Then go up, grab the jewel when it's safe. And that's it for the second room. Okay, third room, you can take your time a little bit on this one, so be very careful when you get this ladder, put it in place first, then push this one over and next one, get it into place. Now, very carefully here, second one goes up, third one goes up, up, down, over, and then push these blocks into place to block Medusa from the side so you can go about your way here. Now, push this up one square, grab the two hearts, get your ladder, put it in place right there, and put the framer on top to block Medusa from the north. Push the snakey over, grab the heart, come back across so you don't get shot by Medusa. Then come back across and you're going to take this snakey and shoot him down. Push the framer down to grab this heart while using the other heart as a shield to prevent from getting shot from that Medusa. And woo, that was kind of close there. Gonna push this snakey across. You don't have to go across this time until you go around the framer. Take him across the river. Shoot him across. Get the heart. Very carefully blow him away, wait for him to respawn, and the only thing left to do now is grab the gem. So you're going to egg this snakey when it becomes safe when he respawns, 
take him across the river, grab the gem, and that's it for 17-3. Not too tough so far. It will get kind of ugly here if you're not careful, so check this out. Push this framer all the way over to the left, go down, grab this heart, second one goes down, third one in the middle goes up and directly over. It's going to seem kind of awkward, trust me on this. Here you have a little bit of leeway. You could push the egg all the way up and over to the left, or you could just do what I did and push it straight up. I think it's easier. Now here, with this framer, you got to take it one to the left, one up, all the way over, all the way up, and then block right on top of the bush there. Grab that heart, you're now safe. Okay, it's going to start to get a little tricky here. Push this down, grab the heart, blow the egg away right there, then go immediately over, push that, grab the heart, go straight down. you got to move very quickly here. Don't do what I did. That was a half-screen screw-up. Thankfully, it didn't mess me up. And get back over here before he respawns. This part sucks. It must be precise. The timing must be perfect, or you run the risk of screwing that up. I've made quite a few gaffes there. Plenty of restarts. Yeah, that level sucks. All right. Moving on, 17-5. All right, lots of framers and not a lot of space. Push these two over, that one up, grab the two hearts. Push this one down, grab Medusa, uh, block Medusa from the left. That one goes straight over left, one square. Ooh, check that out. Go over, use the egg to go down and push the block down one. Block Medusa from the north to safely grab the heart. Come down, wait for Eggy to respawn. Snakey, rather. This part is ugly, too. Push the egg over. Shoot Snakey, one square, not the full length over. Then push that down, grab the heart when it's safe, blow that one away so he will respawn. <sighs> All right, push this one up. Now you're gonna have two blocks there. It's gonna look like you're screwed, right? No, trust me, it's not. We know what we're doing. Push the egg up. You're going to go up from the north on the left. Push that block over one. Now take the other block that we have, push it straight up. Now again, it really looks like we're screwed, right? Trust me on this. Wait for Snakey to respawn, go up, push him over to the right, push this one straight up, and straight over to the left is the other one down there. Now you kind of see what we're doing, right? Now, big thing we're going to do now, get the two hearts from the right and then the one on the left. So, we have one shot left, make it count, go over, grab this heart, go up, grab that heart, now you have two more shots. You kind of guess where we're going right now, right? We have one heart left to grab. You can probably think what we're going to do next. We're going to push that one framer up to block Medusa from the left, grab the heart, and then we'll use the snakey on the far left to escape the level here. Like I said, not a whole lot of space to work with. you got to be creative in how you think about doing some of these puzzles with the water. All right, 17-6. This one's not too tough as long as you put everything in place to block Medusas here. There is one tricky spot, so when we get to it, we'll show you. As I said, make sure you're just blocking the main Medusa in the center here. So far, nothing too complicated. We're going to go around, back around clockwise. Now we're going to blow this snakey away. We're going to watch it respawn. While we're doing that, push that one over to a half square. You don't have to do that. I just like to do it to you know, get it in place because I'm going to have to do it anyway. Play it safe. Don't do it if you don't want to. Push that snakey down. Grab the heart. Blow him away. Now get back out of the way because you're going to use this snakey one more time. Once he respawns, which he should be doing any second now, right about now, go ahead, egg him, push him to block Medusa from the north, push this frame or block from the south, get those three hearts, woo, careful, blow that away, now watch this, you need to step on that exact half square, now could it be done differently, perhaps, yes, but it's still a half square difference, step right there, once he respawns, turn up and shoot at the same time, very, very difficult, I've screwed that up a couple times. Egg this enemy from the backside, grab the heart. You could blow him away if you want to with the extra shot, but it's not necessary. <sighs> That's 17-6. All right, this one. A few things to do before we start egging. Push that one up, push this one straight up, push this one straight over to the left, and push this one straight up to block Medusa from the south. Now, you're gonna have to start shooting the eggs. You're gonna have to start shooting the snakes. But before you do that, I made a little gaff here. It's okay. Go over and grab this heart over here. Now you got your two shots. There's going to be some strict timing here, so watch what we do. A lot of stuff happening at once. Push this over. Block. Grab the heart. Blow him away. Before he respawns, push this framer over one, down one. What that's going to do is prevent him from spawning in that place, and instead he will spawn to the left of that Medusa. Once you see him ready to go, push that one over. Grab those three hearts. Very quickly come back. Blow it away. Now we're still not done. Push this framer back over to its original position. What's going to happen is the egg, the snakey cannot spawn there, so now he's going to spawn up here. 
Go ahead and grab that heart. Now it's safe. You can push that framer up, block Medusa from the left-hand side. One last thing, don't forget this, many people do. Push the framer back to the original position one final time. Come back around, break that block, blow away the snakey. Don't just egg it, blow it away. Push this framer down, it will prevent him from spawning in the original spot or the secondary spot. Instead, he will now spawn in a tertiary spot right up there. You can grab your gem. 17-8, this one looks tricky and it can be if you don't use the framers correctly. So grab the two hearts in the bottom. Now we're gonna block Don Medusa from the left and push this block, since it's safe now, push it right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and push him a little closer to that side. Go ahead and take care of this, get the heart now that it's safe. We're gonna go up, over. Now, the most important thing to do is grab this heart from the south of Don Medusa, or the south of Medusa when it's safe. Now, go ahead and you can trap Don Medusa against the wall there. And the most important thing to do now is worry about blocking these Medusas so you don't get zapped while getting these remaining hearts here. So do what I've done here with these. Push this square right into that position right there. That is critical. That will come into play eventually when we have to get that final heart in the top right. Final Emerald Framer, push it right up to here against the water. It looks like you're screwed. You probably know what we're going to be doing at this point if we put that in position for a reason, right? Go on the egg, push it in the water, hold left as you get off the egg or you will go up and around and you'll be screwed. I've done that a couple times. Now before he respawns, go over, grab this, egg that last snakey, go up in the water and you're basically done. Wait for it to carry you all the way over to the gem box and that is it for 17-8. This level is very tricky with half square precision. So check this, push over the block one, go up, grab the heart. As soon as the egg disappears, push Snakey down in the water. Be very careful not to push the framer down in the process. Go down, push this framer to that exact position right there. Wait for the enemy to respawn. As soon as it does, push it over against the framer, then up in the water. As soon as he's in the water, speed around, push that right to there. Ooh, that was close. Push that up, grab the heart, block Medusa from the left, go over. You have time here. Grab the hearts, kill the f or get the framer, blow the egg away. Now this is very odd. I've never understood this. You can stand right in front of Medusa there. You're in plain sight of getting killed and it doesn't matter. Anyway, use it to your advantage. Do that, grab the hearts. Use the, uh, use the ladder, go down, grab that heart, wait for this enemy to respawn. As soon as it does, you're going to push it back across, you're going to make your way back down south to get this final heart here. So go back down, blow the egg away, and then take this one all the way down. Push this framer over to the left, use your arrow to ensure you can push it all the way. And now, now that we've moved that framer out of the way, we can now safely Wait for the enemy to respawn, go across the water. Once the egg drops down, push the snakey across, and there's your gem. Final level, here we go, here we go. All right, now, second framer. This really sucks, by the way. Get the heart, push this down too. This is very, very precise. Over one, push the block over. Take the egg over, push the block down. Now, this is very, very time sensitive here. Push that over, go up, take this framer, push it down to a half square precise block right there. Block him from a half square right there. Now, a few things you can do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take this framer, push it down. You have a little bit of leeway in how you do this. This is how I've chosen to do it. Put that into place. You now have the ability to take that heart if you wish. I've chosen not to do it because I'm just getting in my head right now. All right, here we go. We're gonna push this over. We're gonna take this snakey down and across, over the water, push this framer back across and down to get this heart. Now, we're gonna go back across. We're gonna push this framer down. And we're going to continue to push it down here. As I said, there's a few things you can do here. I'm getting in my head right now thinking about the best way to do this. What's option one, what's option two? I've chosen to do it this way here. So we're gonna push the framer down, maybe. <laughs> you can tell I was definitely getting in my head right here. All right, so the framer will come down. Now we're gonna push it straight over here and watch what we do. So we can finally take that hard. We could have done that earlier. Frame comes over. Now we can go over this way to the far left and we're gonna grab this heart here. Do not grab that heart, we're gonna save that one for the end. Grab that heart, push this snakey down, go all the way down to that exact space right there. Do not push it all the way down, trust me on this. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're going to move that, and we're gonna take that, we're gonna push the snakey up here, down, grab the heart, quickly come back before the egg sinks. Next thing to do, 
we're going to take the snake or the egg. A good way of thinking about doing this is to think of it in terms of alternating movements. You could do block snake, block snake. That's probably the easiest way to do it here. So we did a block previously, now we're gonna do a snake. We're gonna do the snake down here. We're gonna push it over to the left and push that framer down. Now, we're gonna push this one down one, this one over one. Do not grab the heart yet. Do not give in to your impulse and instincts. Don't do it yet. All right, now we did a snake, now we're gonna do a block. We're gonna take this one, push it far over to the left. Now, next thing to do, go up and around once again. Egg the snake, you go down, push the framer down like so. Do not grab the heart yet. Trust me on this. All right, now, last time for the snake. Over, over, over. Now go over and around again. Now check this out. Very time sensitive, go down, egg that snake, push him over here. Go up very quickly. Take that framer, push it down to block the snake from respawning there. Check the bottom right corner of your screen. He's now going to block Don Medusa, or regular Medusa from the south. Now take this one, go down, block it, pick up the heart. Now very carefully, think about the best way to do this. Think carefully here. That's right. Push the bottom one over to the right, and this one over to the left. Now you can grab this heart from the top. The only thing left to do now is get that gem. How are we gonna do it? Look carefully there, there's a Medusa down there. Push that snaky all the way down. Grab your gem. Challenge complete, right? Oops, not yet, we have a boss fight to go. Let's get it done. All right, here's the boss. So the boss shoots fire, obviously don't get shot by the fire this late in the game. It would be pretty embarrassing and demoralizing. So just keep shooting, play it safe, there's no time limit here, take as long as you need to. Get up there, shoot, 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 that's really all there is to it. He moves in a figure eight pattern, keep blasting him, eventually he will move into a secondary phase where he shoots balls that will track you basically. Eventually you hit him enough times, he'll turn into a ball like this. When it's safe, blast them as many times as you can. Once you get to this point, it's basically over. Congratulations, you've done it, we've done it. Get the hell out of here. And this is where I go insane and start doing my little dance. This is about how I felt after I finished Zoda's Revenge. Oh yeah, by the way, blast that door up there. Go in there and save Lolo or Lala, whoever it is you chose not to play with. And that's it. Lolo 3, challenge number 12, after too many times being teased and too many attempted playthroughs to mention, is now officially in the books. Thank you very much for putting up with this for so long. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your presence as always. As far as what's coming up next, I know there's a few games we've been looking at. Lemmings is certainly out there. You can always go back and look at the 50% celebration video to get a good idea of what's coming up. I'm thinking probably Bart versus the Space Mutants will come out next, or I could also look at Prince of Persia. So probably one of those games. Or if there's something else you want to see me do, just let me know. Put a drop in the comments, say something to me. And that's what I'll be doing. I can finally move on to other games now. This one's finally in the rearview mirror. Take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.